Man, man, man. Have y'all been paying attention to Stephen A. Smith and Jason Whitlock? They kind of going at it, man. But Stephen A. went in on this dude. And finally, because I don't like him. I don't like Jason Whitlock. Check out this clip. Did you tell them that once the same article in Deadspin came out, weeks later you wrote a lengthy apology to me in an email begging me to forgive you, pointing out how you were betrayed by this particular writer so you know how I must feel that you betrayed me? Did you tell the folks that, you bitch? Did you tell them? You fat piece of shit. Did you tell him that? Got the names. We got Jamel Hill. We got Howard Bryant. You want me to bring up the other writers that wouldn't work for you? Why it took you nearly two years to get an article out? Because you ran that shit so bad you were running it into the ground? What a disgrace you were to John Skipper, the former boss of ESPN or the host of others you want me to talk about that because I got receipts I got the email want me to talk about that now just for everybody that wants to understand how could this possibly be because once upon a time I actually tried to speak up for this damn cretin I knew he was a piece of shit but I said look Maybe he's misunderstood. Why would I do that, ladies and gentlemen? Because sometimes as black folks, we get in our own way. We think that all of us must be of one monolithic thinking, that we need to be completely and totally aligned. And any deviation from that brings into question our quote unquote blackness. Martin Luther King was a man of peace. Malcolm X was by any means necessary. They can't possibly be on the same page. Even though their agendas was for the upliftment and the preservation of our race of people. Brought it to you first, that make it exclusive. It's for members only, you're probably not included. First watch finest, I only hang with shooters. If I pop out with this cannon, then we gon' make a new year. I come through a gang on them and bang on them. Hanging out the window and put that flame on them. Everybody get these bullets, ain't got names on them. Would you like to subscribe and hit the play button? Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Wes, Wes, Wes. Head and dope, we are back, baby. It is First Watch Finders. Shout out my subscribers. Everybody rocking with day. Boy. Do me a favor, though. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. You heard me? Because over here, we don't Jersey. And man, I don't know if y'all been paying attention, man. Stephen A. Smith and Jason Whitlock kind of had a little back and forth. But uh, I just watched the Stephen A. Smith um, response to Jason Whitlock. And did y'all just hear the clip that I just showed y'all? I'm going to show y'all another clip too. But, dog, I never did. Ever since I've been watching ESPN, you know, all the sports shows, I never, Jason Whitlock just always was like, he gave me the coon vibes. Always, dog, from way back when he was on there going in on Colin Kaepernick, you know what I'm saying? Trying to like make, make it seem like he was the worst type of human being and he just, you know, he shouldn't have did the knee, he should have picked the time and you know, he just went in on Colin Kaepernick when Colin Kaepernick was actually doing that for people like us. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he like went in on Colin to try to like disgrace him. He said he shouldn't get no more goddamn uh, football. You know, he shouldn't get no more contracts or shouldn't be for no team. Like he went in on Colin Kaepernick. And I'm over here looking like, who is this fool? You know what I'm saying? To be a black man, you sure are going in on him. Also, he went in on Kobe when Kobe had that uh, case. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant, the bean, the goat. This fool, like, basically tried to, like, you know, throw Kobe, like, he wanted Kobe to be under the bus and done. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was literally going hard and trying to, like, make everybody turn against Kobe for that case. It's just, like, everything that, you know, black people did in the sports world, he was, like, one of them ones that kind of, like, 
went in on them and like, you know, try to like down them and, 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 and throw them under the bus and get rid of like cancel them. You know what I'm saying? And Jason Whitlock has always been like that to me. I never did like him. I never did like his show. He had a show with uh Marcus Wiley, Marcus Wiley or Smiley. I forgot the dude's name, but you know what I'm talking about. That show was ass. That show was ass, and he was always having the horriblest, worst opinions. Horrible, just just bad takes. I never did like the takes that he had for none of his stuff, man. He was just like, he gave me the coon vibes always at all times. His opinion was always trash. He just, it seemed like he was always for the white man. You get what I'm saying? Like, he was one of those guys. He, his opinion was for the white, because we didn't like it. Nobody I knew liked Jason Whitlock and what he talked about or his opinions on stuff. It was always some coonish, trash type stuff that he was saying. And he always trying to down like black athletes. He liked Candace Owens and what's the other girl on ESPN? You know what I'm talking about? Can't stand them, man. Like they always try to down black folks harder than anybody else. They go in on black folks more than anybody else and try to make it, make it like the worst they can make it for that person. And I just never did like that, man. And Stephen A. Smith... Um, him and Jason Whitlock, you know, what I mean, having their words right now, and because of Jason Whitlock also trying to throw Stephen A. Smith under the bus, you know what I'm saying, and talk about Stephen A. Smith came right and this and that, like he was going in on Stephen A. Smith, and Stephen A. Smith finally responded and went in on this dude, went in, and I loved it, you know what I'm saying, like finally somebody went in that's on a tier where it's gonna be heard, you get what I'm saying? I like the fact that. Stephen A. Smith broke it all the way down from way back when this dude been doing this bullshit. Called him a fat piece of shit, uh, a bitch. All that, he called him everything. You know what I'm saying? And I, I agree with every single word Stephen A. Smith had to say about this man, dog. Jason Whitlock is one of the worst type of human beings to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just, a, he just, people who try to down their race to move up in whatever world they're in, their, their, their job or whatever. I can't stand those type of people, dog. If you try to dance, we already got enough going on with us as a race by ourselves. We don't need other black males or black females to down us more to help y'all step up, to move up in y'all business world or whatever y'all trying to do. Like, it just really don't make no sense to me, man. I can't stand the fact that people try to step on their own to get up. I, I can't stand people like that. And Jason Whitlock has been doing this for a while now. And he's trying to make a career off of basically throwing his uh, cult colleagues under the bus. Every time you see Jason, uh, Jason Whitlock, he's talking about somebody, one of his colleagues, trying to make an article and write and talk down about him to help his show, career, or whatever, move up. That stuff right there is the, uh, I can't stand people like that, dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I've always been, I've been watching Jason Whitlock, Stephen A. Smith, Marcus Wiley, uh, Chris Boussard. I've been watching all these dudes for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like I watch them all and Jason Whitlock has always gave me the vibes of somebody who seems like he's miserable. He's, uh, he'll do anything to, to reach a milestone or move up. You know what I'm saying? He'll step on anybody. He's always gave me those vibes, dog. And I, I like the fact that Stephen A. Smith finally put him on blast put him on blast, went in, you know what I'm saying, you have to go watch this, uh, this show on the Stephen A. Smith on YouTube, Stephen A. Smith, go type that in, and it's his response to Jason Whitlock, you know what I mean, and uh, go check that out, just watch it, and just see how he breaks it down and goes in on the man that was trying to like, you know, throw him under the bus, and talk about he came right, and he don't write his own stuff, he went in on Stephen A. Smith, why are you going in on Stephen A., dog? Why are you why are you why are you picking all these different black people that you want to go in on athletes, colleagues? It's just always somebody black that you're trying to throw under the bus to help boost your career. That shows the type of person you are. You're not a good person, B. You're just not a good person. You know what I'm saying? And I I, I I'm pretty sure he knows it. Cause a lot of people have told us said a lot about this guy. Y'all so they've they've put a lot of uh there's been a lot of articles out on him, a lot of shows. People have been talking about him for a minute, but this right here is that like a million views in like a day. You know what I'm saying? Stephen A. got a million views on going on him in a day. And that's how you know it's some real stuff and how Stephen A. really felt because he broke it down for his career from beginning to end and all the different stuff that he's, different people that he's like went in on. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put another clip in here for y'all to check out too because it's just, I don't know why, dog. I just like the fact that 
Stephen A finally went in on him on his platform. He called him, man, he called him everything in the world but a child of God. You know what I'm saying? Everything but a child of God. He called him everything in the world but a child of God, man. And it's all true. That's the thing about it. Like, it's not the first time. It's just the interview that he did right now was like, it went up. You know what I'm saying? It's not the first time somebody had went in on Jason, but Stephen A. Smith has been dealing with this fool for like, you know, 10 years. And I think a couple months ago was the first time Stephen A. actually like spoke out and said something about, you know what I'm saying, what he's did. And then Jason Whitlock came out and did some old more bullshit. And then Stephen A. Smith just went in right now. And I'm I'm glad that Stephen A. has his own platform to where he can do this because he couldn't, he couldn't have went in like this on ESPN. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad he got his YouTube where he can talk freely and speak freely because Jason Whitlock deserved every single bit of that, man. And I don't support nothing he does. You know what I'm saying? I used to watch his show just to try to, like, see if I'm tripping or, you know, like, try to fuck with his opinion and, you know, what they do. But I didn't like, I didn't even like Marcus Wiley on this show. Marcus Wiley seemed like he was kind of like joining the cool vibes with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, the certain shit they were saying, how they were going on certain people is just like, what kind of people are y'all? You know what I'm saying? Y'all just let that TV and everything get to y'all. Y'all got all these different things you want to say about different athletes and try to make them seem like the worst people in the world. Like, nobody don't make mistakes. We don't need y'all to go try to get your career boost off of our backs. That shit is wild, man. And it's stupid and it's dumb. And my thoughts on it is thank you, Stephen A., for finally going in on him on a platform where people are going to watch and listen. Thank you uh, to for putting the truth out about this guy who basically has been doing this his whole career his whole career he's tried to dump down and shit on black folks to try to move up and that's the kind of people i don't like i don't like them i ain't gonna lie man it's um it's a very uh touchy subject for me because people like that just i believe are the worst people in the world candace owens uh jason whitlock uh goddamn you know I'm talking about all them type of people. I just, I can't, I can't. Yeah, you people, I said it. Y'all, y'all own damn race. Pieces of shit. Not gonna lie, man. It's just, uh, uh, the interview, I, I, I had a, I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed what Stephen A said. Um, it was all truth. I mean, you know, like, I don't want to see nothing happen to the guy or nothing like that, but I believe he needed to be put on blast for the type of, you know, stuff that he says on air and behind the scenes about people like you apologizing to Stephen A. Smith trying to have him forgive you at the same time you want to shit on the man what get the fuck out of here dog I don't know man it, it, it just go check out what he had to say if y'all watch sports sports shows go check that out man you know what I'm saying I it, it it really gave me some clarity on I wasn't the only one feeling this way you know what I'm saying like I felt like this a while back, but nobody really said nothing about it. I didn't see nobody, too many people like responding like to him and saying sh and talking about what he does. You know what I'm saying? And finally, I felt like it finally came out. And now the world knows Jason Whitlock is a piece of shit. You heard me? I hope he jerseys. You think I'm lying? Ask ESPN. Ask Fox. Ask the Kansas City Star. Ask them all. Jamel Hill. Rob Parker. Chris Broussard. Skip Bayless. Yours truly. Along with a host of black folks all over this country. Every single one of them will confirm what the hell I'm saying about this piece of garbage. Ladies and gentlemen, as a black man, I often told y'all, I cannot imagine as a black man, knowing our history, anything worse than a white supremacist that is until Jason Whitlock came along he's worse than them he is the worst most despicable lying no good fat ass human being I have ever known in my life
Yo, man, it's your boy, New Jersey Turk, man, New Jerusalem, man. Make sure y'all tune in to First Watch Finest, man. You heard it here first, man. Jersey. Jersey.